Hey everybody, Slim Kirby here. Uh, I'm going to make one last video for this project. Uh, this is just going to be covering all the stuff I didn't cover in the project, and just, you know, stuff like that. Okay, uh, I showed you what's inside the mushroom shop already, so let's go ahead and go to the mushroom bank. In the mushroom bank, it basically tells you how many coins and how many stars you have. Uh, this guy will give you the stats that you should already know. Uh, this guy, he actually, uh, he actually manages your items. So this is where you can set up your items you want to take for each game. You can pick pick what uh, coin box you want. Uh, event block, warp block, plus block, minus, speed, and slow. And you can also watch the credits here once you buy them. So yeah, that's all you can really do here. If you want to equip items or anything. Uh, next, I'm going to go to the option house. Uh, you can erase all data, so do not talk to him. Do not talk to him. Seriously, don't. Okay, this is the talking parrot. You can buy this at the mushroom shop. Uh, he can, uh, basically do any voice acting for the game. All the characters, uh, the announcer lady. She, uh, he basically has all the voices in his, uh, one mouth, so... It's kind of a cool feature. This is actually where I found out that, uh... The video game announcer lady actually said strike when you get a strike. That's the first time I figured that out. Uh, this is the jukebox. Uh, once you buy the record in the store, you can listen to any of the tracks in the game. Uh, a lot of my favorite tracks are here. Uh, Rainbow Castle, I love this music. Rainbow Castle is one of the best musical tracks in video game history. Then of course you have some other tracks as well. Magma Mountain, Stolen Star, Eternal Star. So yeah, you can listen to all the music of the game. <laughs> then you also have the Sound Lover, where you can switch it between stereo and mono. That was a very loud motorcycle. But yeah, stereo, mono, that's really all you can do with that. Leave the option house. Uh, I guess I'll go to the minigame house really quick. I covered a few things here. At the end of Minigame Stadium, I covered this little guy, Mecha Fly Guy. Uh, all he does, you can buy him at the shop, and it's basically just a way to practice your uh, control stick rotation. Uh, this is the Minigame House Guy. He can sell you minigames. And there are a wide variety of minigames you can buy. Uh, they cost a lot though, and as you can see, I haven't really bought any of them. Uh, this is because I lost my data a long time ago, and I've never really cared enough to try to get it back. Uh, I was going to show you Deep Sea Divers, but uh, since I uh, saw that in uh, Minigame Island, I won't worry about it. Let's see, I wish I could buy Bombskitball. Let's see, I want to see if I can buy a game. I want to buy a game. Uh, four player. Ah, screw it. Not worth it. Uh, here you can play the mini games if you talk to his crystal ball. Now, the main reason I want to come here and actually do this, I don't care who I have to play with, is, let's see, I'll play three games. One player. Now, once you beat Minigame Island, you can unlock these three games called Bumper Ball Maze 1, 2, and 3. Now, uh, you actually unlock all three in different ways. Like, I think for the first one you unlock by simply beating Toad in Minigame Island. Uh, the second one is if you beat uh, Minigame Island, all the minigames, because obviously uh, you can beat more of them. Like, you can beat, uh, you can beat it without beating all the minigames. And yeah, that's basically how this works. Uh, you can, and, and then for the third one, I don't know about the third one. I think you have to do some outside Ready? work. But oh. If anyone wants to confirm that in the comments, uh, you can. Uh, really though, for this game, I suck. I really don't care if I uh, succeed at these or fail at these. I really don't care. But it's basically bumper ball controls while you're... Uh, playing through these games. 
just a small little maze. You just take your bumper ball and try to get through the maze. Not very difficult, not very Ready? hard. Go. Well, it's difficult. It is actually pretty difficult, but uh, not difficult to explain. That's what I mean. And I think I have pretty good records for this game already, so I'm not really going to try to beat my records or actually beat these games. I think the records themselves just speak for the fact that I have beaten these before. And in the end, that's really all that really matters, so... See, so that's what the second one looks like, and the third one... The third one is insane looking. I mean, look at that, that's huge. I don't think there's any shortcuts for this. You actually have to go through the whole level. Nah, screw it. Yeah, I suck at this game, and it's uh, even harder when you have to play with a little bit of lag, so... Yeah, I'm not really going to care about those very much. And that ends the... <laughs> draw. I don't care. I really don't care. Nope. Cancel. 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 Let's leave. Well, <clears throat> since this is the official end of the project... I think we should just end with the credits, so I'm going to go ahead and get the credits out. I think it's a nice way to end the project. Let's view the credits. Whoa. Okay. Here we go. So yeah, guys, uh, that's Mario Party 1. <clears throat> One of my all-time favorite Mario Party games. Maybe not my favorite. I think Mario Party 2 actually has a beat, but that's my opinion. Some of you guys may disagree with me. I really don't care. But this was a great game. It began a wonderful franchise. Given the franchise hasn't always been the best, some of the later games kind of went downhill. And Mario Party 8, which came out like two years ago, they haven't really tried to make a... Uh, new games since then, besides Mario Party DS, of course. So yeah, uh, the series hasn't really tried to continue, but it always had this great start to the franchise. And even though the other games haven't been as good at th as this game or Mario Party 2, they've still been good. It's just, uh, they can't compare with the classics. That's really all that there is to that. But yeah, I enjoyed doing this. I enjoyed uh, recreating this project because I was really disappointed with how the original project came out. Because obviously I had to deal with a lot of stuff, I had to deal with uh, uh, music, copyrighted music, and then the bad quality of the videos. Given I played a little better than I did with good quality, but I don't know, I just didn't like the way the old project really came out, so I'm kind of glad I got to go through this project again and do it the right way and then also cover even more because as soon as I finished Eternal Star for the last project I ended it there I didn't do minigame stadium I didn't do minigame island I didn't do any extra videos that's really how the first project went so I'm glad I actually uh, went ahead and improved this project and I also did it with a lot less videos uh, my original project for this uh, playlist was 155, and this didn't even come close to 100. This is more like, I don't know how many videos exactly, I think I have like four, 50, 46 right now. Uh, when I'm doing this, I haven't uploaded Minigame Stadium yet, so I still have a few things to do with uh, uploading and everything. But... Yeah, uh, I'd say around, like, maybe not even 60 videos, so this project was a lot shorter. It didn't even come to the halfway point of what the last project was. Given, though, the last project, the reason it was so long was because I only had six minutes to work with in every video, and then I also had to make some videos shorter because I didn't want to end... Uh, the video when the song I was playing wasn't over yet, so I did a lot of uh, editing and stuff, so I'm glad for at least these projects, every board was at least like five videos, and then some of the other boards were maybe a little more, and then Minigame Stadium was obviously a little less, so yeah, great project, 
don't know when I'm going to start Mario Party 2. Uh, around this time, I'm trying to finish up Fire Emblem. And once that's done, like, that'll be a huge boost of confidence for me. Uh, my schedule will be freed up a little, lot more, so... Uh, I wouldn't expect Mario Party 2 until uh, Fire Emblem Path of Radiance is fully completed. Or completed to the point where I think it's a full, completed Let's Play. So don't expect Mario Party 2 for maybe like a week or two. But I do want to get started on that next, with my next Mario Party game. Uh, Mario Party 5, still not sure when or if I'm going to start this this summer. Uh, just keep a lookout for it though. But, that's about it. This is Slim Kirby. Uh, I'm not going to get through all the credits, but some of you probably don't care enough to watch the credits. So, uh, that's about it. See you guys next time for more Mario Party. Later, guys.